Oh, my bad. I didn't have the camera screwed. All right, so okay, this is aimed towards more for this is for more for tippy toe. She replied, or he or she replied to my comment on YouTube saying, "My husband and I are going to New Orleans in 2020, late April 2020." She was wondering about the weather, or he was wondering about the weather, um, and wanted to know. And any advice would be helpful. So here's the video of my advice. Now this advice could change over the course of a year, but we're gonna go ahead and do this anyway. So I'm a local in New Orleans, and. I go there down I go down there three times a week for about two hours and I know how the rotation works. I know all these hotels by the way because my job is actually going inside of these hotels, sixteen different ones, but I've also been to plenty more hotels down there. I've stayed there countless weekends. But we're just gonna go ahead and go through this and I know I'm not I know I'm young, but I'll, I know the algorithm of New Orleans because I've lived here all my life all right so when you get into the weather in late april you shouldn't have too much of a problem with big showers now there might be some small showers here and there and it depends on how long you're staying there but if you're going for a week expect maybe a small shower now the small cat shower can range anywhere from uh three minutes to like about 40 minutes so just expect a small shower, and it won't be, like, heavy torrential downpour or anything like that. It'll just be, you know, like, regular rain that, you know, you would experience. There won't be any, like, major flooding or anything. There won't be, like, major flooding, meaning, like, there won't be, like, six inches of rain. But there would be, like, there would be at least one inch of rain. So you, you won't have to worry about that. The drain system in New Orleans is very good, so you won't have to worry about that too much, on most streets at least. But you won't have to deal with any of that because none of those sheets are near whatever. So they're currently doing... So these are two hotels that I have advice for. But there's also a third one that I'm going to mention. It's just not as good location-wise as the other two because of the further walk you have to get to Bourbon Street. It's not that bad for Royal, but Bourbon Street, yeah. Alright, so let's just get on to my least favorite hotel I'm talking about. Well, at least for tourists. The Monteleon Hotel. This is the one that I'm saying. The third one that's not that great. Um, it is an old hotel, and it dates back to 1840s. And very cool inside. It's it's very it's very old. Um, it's it's quiet and it smells like cone cognac 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 chicken. Not Konak chicken, just the alcohol Konak. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Go ahead and correct me in the comments, but Konak chicken. Um, not Konak chicken. I'm used to eating Konak chicken at Fogo de Chao, which I will get into. So, it smells like Konak, the alcohol. Inside. So, yeah, it smells like Konak alcohol. And we're getting into uh, Monteleon Hotel. As I said, it's old. There is a famous bar there. Actually, it's actually inside the hotel. Right when you walk into the right, uh, right, you go have two sets of double doors, and two sets of double double doors. And once you get past those, there'll be a three step stair, uh, three step staircase, and then there will be like to the right. There's another like uh, three step. There's two three step staircases in total. Um, right when you walk into the hotel, but you can go to the right after you go in the first one. You can go to the right, and there will be like a separate staircase just for the bar. Um. And it's actually the carousel bar. And what basically the carousel bar is, it is, it opened with the hotel um, originally. I do not know what the exact date was. I think it was 1848 or 1850s even. But it is, it is an old hotel. It's been renovated since, but they still have most of the newer most of the old features, such as the lobby. The lobby and the grandfather clock have not changed locations or changed anything in, since it opened. And that's uh, going for the walls and um, the ceiling. Now, the walls that have to be repaired after Hurricane Katrina just because of the flooding damage. So that's not going to be completely 100% real. But most of the wall um, is going to be original. 
and yeah, the rooms are definitely going to be updated. I have not stayed at any of these hotels, but their location is very good, and I know their reviews on Google and Yelp and all these other things are very good, and that's why I'm recommending this to you. So, so that's number one, Monteleon. So the carousel bar is a rotating bar. It rotates 360 degrees extremely slowly. Um, you don't even notice that you're moving on it. Of course, like... I've never been in it because we never actually stopped to be in there. But there also is, they, they do, that's a restaurant too. So the carousel bar is where you have your drinks. And you can also eat at the bar too. I'd say there's about 30 seats on there. It's pretty interesting. 20 to 30 seats on the bar. It rotates extremely slowly, as I said. You don't even notice. It goes like this. It's very slow. But it is very unique. And I'd say it's definitely... Not bucket list worthy, but if you're going to New Orleans, go there. Now, what is bucket list worthy is Antoine's restaurant. It opened in 1843, something, around, somewhere around there. Um, it is the oldest family-owned restaurant in the United States today. And this restaurant is big. It is a big restaurant. It's not the biggest i've ever been in but it is a pretty big restaurant so you have an area there there's going to be a revolving door and that is uh, one of the entrances I, there are doors on either side of the revolving door but go through the revolving doors it's <laughs> it's the oldest revolving door in the united states it's one of the oldest revolving doors in the united states and the doors but you know you would want to go through a really old modern I mean, <laughs> modern really old revolving door just go through there. That's how people enter and exit. Um, yeah, but Antoine's restaurant is bucket list worthy. Okay, there's like nothing special, but that food. Oh my god, that food is bucket list worthy by itself. And there are there is this. Okay, so there were, at the revolving door, there is this room, and it is a. Uh, it was the. This is the newest edition, I believe, in it's just a very it's where you they have a bunch of mirrors surrounding the walls and it's where you like if you're going on a date you're going to want to stay in there um it's so like you're with your husband stay uh eat in that room because uh, see if you can re reserve a table for that room and reservations do go fairly quickly so get a jump on that as soon as you can and start planning now and you need to get a reservation now so, like, you need to start planning now for New Orleans, and you need to start getting a reservation for Antoine Dress One, because that's how fast the seats will fill up, the reservations, if you don't get a reservation. Now, I don't know if they can book that far in advance. You might have to wait, like, two months um, prior to going. But, yeah, this place fills up within a matter of 20 minutes after it opens. I went there over the summer with my grandma, and... Of course, we're not on a date or anything. So if you're not on a date, you're visiting with a friend, uh, you're just going with your brother or something. Um, there also is another room where you can go, and they have a bunch of um, like pictures on the wall and some artwork and it, like of famous people, and they have a lot of things signed by famous people. I don't know his name, but it was um, man's um, deadliest food, I believe. Uh, he signed that. The, the bald guy who used to be on Food Network, uh, he signed that. That's in there. That's where me and my grandma sat, at least. And there's a bunch of other, like, celebrity signed stuff. But it is an extremely old room. That is an original house. It The whole restaurant actually combined is a size of three or four um, New Orleans houses. And original New Orleans houses usually got big. Um, bigger than the ones that, you know, you'd have in your modern they around the same size, um, but they were big, but them being two stories, that's double the size, but the, the, the two extra rooms are only, um, one story, but they do have a, like, a small strip of courtyard, most restaurants, in New, not most restaurants, but a lot of restaurants in New Orleans, and a lot of places in New Orleans will have a, um, either a big courtyard, uh, like the hotel I'm going to get to, they have a big courtyard with a pool, or you'll have, like, a small, like, strip of, like, courtyard, and it'll literally be, like, a, maybe, like, a five, 
five foot area like why and like who knows how long um yeah that pass can be but it would be a courtyard it wouldn't be very big but there usually is a smaller opening where you can get through that would be pretty cool um but yeah the rest okay so getting the restaurants Antoine restaurants go there make reservations yes it, it's the best restaurant in new orleans in louisiana one of the best restaurants you will ever visit too this is gonna be the long video okay getting on to hotels um Bourbon Orleans Hotel and Royal Sinesta Hotel we'll be talking about today. So, Bourbon Orleans is on the corner of Bourbon and Orleans Street, um, giving its name. And, oh, same thing for, well, not same thing for Royal. Well, I can't really say that. Okay. Um, so, Bourbon Orleans, yeah. It is a very quiet hotel. And it's on the, it's on the end of Bourbon by the river. So, it's where, like, nobody goes. Um, people do go there, but the bars kind of get, like, you know, less crowded, I should say, by the Bourbon Orleans. Now, if you're going anywhere from, like, 2 to 4 or 5 o'clock there, there would be quite a bit of people. It won't be, like, extremely, extremely overcrowded, but there will be quite a bit of people walking down that area because they're going to either go to dinner, go to a bar, or going to Cafe du Monde, which is just down the street um, from Bourbon Orleans, but it actually is a further walk than you would imagine. It looks right there, but it's not. It's like a 10 to 15 minute walk, um, which isn't terrible, but that line, you're going to be waiting there for 30 minutes at least, getting your beignets. That's the first Cafe du Monde. And you guys do not have Café du Monde where you live, most likely. Um, well, if you live in a different state other than Louisiana, you're not going to have a Café du Monde. It is a New Orleans thing, New Orleans tradition. You will not have it there. Um, yeah, that Café du Monde, I highly recommend. There's also a cafe down the street from Café du Monde. And it is actually in a little small shopping complex. And it's called Café Beignet. That place is better than Cafe Du Monde, but if you're looking for true, um, like, true New Orleans authentic and, like, extremely, like, the first beignet, if you want to experience the first beignet, what that tastes like, go to the Cafe Du Monde. It's the only one downtown, and it is the first one ever made. So getting away from the beignet side of things, um, again, um, there's also another restaurant that's pretty good, but I don't recommend going there for your first time visiting New Orleans. Now, if you go there again, yeah, you can go ahead, but it is pretty cool. If you need, like, a snack or anything during the day, if you're walking around Royal Street, it's only about a block or two away from where you'll be walking. It's called Golden Chips, and it's actually, uh, right by Café du Monde, too. So, it'll be on the way, it's not on the exact street as Bourbon, but it'll be, like, two or three blocks down, from the Bourbon Orleans, I believe so. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, Golden Chips. They basically have fries and chicken tenders there. But it's very unique. They serve it in like a little cone. And they have a do the sauces in the cone. Really good sauces and the homemade. It's an extremely good restaurant. I highly recommend going there if you need like a snack or lunch. Because there's not too many places to get lunch. But there are a lot of places to get dinner. Um, if you're going to go to lunch, go to Oceana Grill. Um... That place is really good. It's two stories. It's it's amazing. Um, and eat by the water, too. Uh, Oceana Grill is not by the water, but that is, like, one of the best restaurants you can go to. Neither is Antoine's, but I'd say eating by the water is pretty cool because um, you have, you know, you have that breeze going in through even any open-air restaurant, which are most of the restaurants in New Orleans. Any open-air restaurant would be very cool because, you know, you're, they don't, they're, okay, New Orleans is an extremely old city. It is not going to get any colder than what it is outside if it's not a hotel. If it's a restaurant, that thing most likely doesn't even have AC. Um, a lot of restaurants stay open during the day, uh, like open air, unless, like, you know, there's rain or anything. But the, the, the rain separate, is separated, okay, it's elevated and have a railing around it. 
and they have doors inside of it, the shutters, open and closed. Um, that's with a lot of restaurants. I don't know the names of them, but I did eat at one of them one time. Pretty good. Not the best, but if you want some really good seafood, go to one of those restaurants. They're bound to have it. You'll see the people standing on the corner of the restaurants be like, Hungry, come on in. We got AC and whatever. A lot of restaurants do have AC, but... Um, the ones that are open air, they're gonna have, they're gonna say, oh, we have AC in here. Okay, it's open air and the humidity of New Orleans is terrible. So, you're not going to have great AC in an open air restaurant. Just a little bit of advice for that. New Orleans is very kid and dog friendly. There are a lot of restaurants, believe it or not, that dogs can go to. There's even a couple of shops that are made just for dogs. Like, there's a dog spa and there's a dog um shop that they, they make clothes handmade at the store um and treats and they make them in store too pretty cool if you guys want to experience i'm getting a little bit off track here i'm gonna have to make this in two, two videos but this is the first part tonight um if you guys want to learn how to cook some new orleans things so uh, i'd recommend doing the new orleans cooking school lessons they only last about an hour and a half and they're not that expensive i believe they're about fifty dollars and they teach you how to make one appetizer one entree and one dessert um usually has to do with um seafood and pralines and pecans and yeah they'll teach you how to make really good pie he is he has been around he's been cooking for a long time oh the chef that does that he's been, i took one of his classes before he's a very good chef he's been cooking for at least 30 years he is he's good Getting a little off track here, but I said something about pecans, and you might say pecan, don't say that. Somebody in New Orleans, if they hear you say that, if they're native, they will punch you. Don't say pecan, alright? Just don't do it, it's not a good idea, it's not worth getting hurt. When you can just say pecan. Don't say crayfish, don't say crawfish, it's crawfish. I mean, don't say crayfish, don't say crawdads, it's crawfish. Now, people won't hurt you over that because, you know, it's a common mistake made by that, um, by alien people or foreigners, um, or tourists. I don't really know how to do air quotes, but tourists. Um, common mistake made by them. Um, yeah, don't say crayfish or crawdads or pecans because pecans we will we will get on you for that all right let's go back to bourbon orleans hotel again it's a very quiet hotel there it's not very large it's about eight floors um I believe so i've never actually been in the elevators but i go in there three times a day for like five minutes each day i know the you know whatever um there is a courtyard on the first floor, and it's right behind the lobby. I mean, not right, right behind the uh, check-in desk. So it's actually right to the left. So like, if you're standing there on the counter and you want to go like to the pool immediately, um, you can go to the left and out the door. That's nice to do during the summer if you're there, but don't go during August or July. Just don't do it. Don't do it. But you're going in April, so good for you. It won't be too hot, and in it'll be around 80s, uh, late 70s. Early, early, okay, it'll be in the 70s and 80s in springs, but most likely are, um, low 80s to mid 80s. It won't be too bad. So you can go swim. I wouldn't do that for a long time if you're there for a weekend. But if you're there for a week, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, because there's so much stuff to do. And if you want to do it on a weekend, you're going to have to go to, like, the best places that you've ever been to in your life. So Bourbon Orleans, highly recommend that hotel. Um, um, yeah, so, uh, Bourbon Orleans, if you wake up in the morning and you want to go eat breakfast, there's a restaurant right when you walk in through the entrance, um, while after giving your car to the valet people and unpacking your luggage, um, right when you walk into the right is that restaurant that you eat breakfast in the morning. You don't have to if you don't want to, it's around sixteen ninety five per person, it's all you can eat, and it's a buffet. And, also, just past that restaurant... There is a, most likely, when you arrive, you will see a drink, uh, like, most likely water there, 
and you'll see like this big container full of water and then you can have little cups inside you can lift it up and pour the water in um that is where the coffee goes in the morning so if you wake up early enough um anywhere from five to i'd say 10 in the morning and you're you're in a rush you need to go to where you're gonna go whether if it's mass right across the street from or right around the block because you can't actually enter through the back but if you want to walk like three blocks to church and you're just going really fast um you're gonna say louis cathedral there's complimentary coffee there right at that drink station in the morning um yeah that's very Orleans. we're gonna go to royal sinesta hotel this is where they hold <coughs> a lot of major events this is where a lot of people stay if they're in the conferences and most likely when you go there there will be people from conferences there but the only downside i'd say of Wales and this is is that it's located right on like the middle of the action-packed bourbon street like it's where it's like in the middle of bourbon street where everybody is during the day but you shouldn't have to worry too much about that going into the later hours a lot of people are eating dinner like especially tourists but you know you always have that guy that's gonna be like, I to come to the woods for the first time. I gotta have some of their drinks. And, you know, don't be that person. Go eat restaurants. Um, I recommend doing Antoine's your very last night yet you're there. That you're there because, you know, it just makes it even more special. You end your full New Orleans vacation the biggest that you can ever be and it's a great way to end your vacation I already said that it's a great way to end your vacation um because you know, it's a truly the best cuisine that you can get <laughs> in new orleans so yeah we're going to royal sinesta we're not going to make this video way too long so we're going to go ahead and speed this through this um royal sinesta is looking in the middle of bourbon street where everybody is during the day and uh, same thing with them. They have the valet parking, and they'll help you get your bags out and whatnot. Um, it is right across from a Hustlers Club. It is also right across, right next to the Hustlers Club, um, uh, a Benet Cafe. And it's a courtyard, and they have a story in the back. It's a really cool place to hang out. I say you can go there in the morning if you stay at Royal Sinesta. Now, per my, personally, my favorite hotel would probably be the Royal because, you know, you have that beignet shop. And you also have a PJ's downstairs. You don't know what PJ's is. Um, PJ's is New Orleans coffee. It is chicory coffee. And any PJ's that you go to will always be chicory coffee. Because that's New Orleans coffee. Um, that's true New Orleans coffee. That's what you can get. You cannot get any more New Orleans than that. Uh, so if you're looking for the best coffee you've most likely ever had... Go to PJ's. They have some really interesting coffees. It's just like Starbucks, except with chicory coffee, and they don't have all these specialty drinks like uh, unicorn frappe. Uh, yeah, they don't have that there. It's just a very simple menu. Um, they do frappuccinos, granitas. The granitas are the best. You can get. You should get the granitas if you ever go there. Get a granita. Um, they don't really need sweetener, but add like a flavoring, like white sugar-free white chocolate or something. I only eat sugar-free stuff. It's so like white chocolate. They have great am amaretto. It's pretty cool. So that's right in the bottom of the Royal Sinesta, like right in the lobby area, right down the hallway. They have this. They have these boards. That's where all the meeting rooms go. You don't really need to go down there. There's nothing there of your interest. But like PJ's is literally right there in the corner, uh, in the lobby, in the hallway. So that's the only. That's the furthest point you should ever need to go, um, when you're going there. Unless you want to walk to like the other end. Like, not in Bourbon Street, but you want to go, you want to go to that other beignet shop, like, that's behind the hotel, that's in between the police station and the shop, um, that one's pretty cool, but I recommend going to the courtyard one, because, well, that one does have live music, um, the, the smaller one, like, it's in between the police station and the shop, that one does have live music, um, daily, but the one at the courtyard, you know, it's just bigger, and, you know, you don't have to worry about the 30 people that are in this, like, small restaurant, so you don't have to worry about that. So I recommend going to the courtyard one. That one's pretty cool. You have these pigeons flying. And they land on the courtyard roof. Court top roof. It is beautiful. I like it. And there's actually a fountain there with um some jazz musicians there. Pretty cool. You can listen to that while you eat some beignets. And coffee. Um, 
yeah, Royal Sanessa Hotel is also not very big, around 10 stories. And that's pretty much it I was, that I have for this video. Um, oh yeah, it's not a far walk from Royal Street. Um, it's actually very close to Royal Street within two or three blocks. It's not that far of a walk. Um, Royal Street is where you'll find all your shops, as I stated later in the, earlier in the video. It's where you find all your shops, your galleries, um, you know. There's a, there's a lot of different shops. There's a bunch of glassware shops, uh, blown glass. They don't, they, there's no shops where they actually blow glass in store. But there are a lot of, quite a bit of stores that do sell, like, glassware. Things like that. A bunch of other different shops and stuff. They'll have these soap shops where you can go and find some high quality soaps. I don't know if that's true or not. You know, there's those people that stand in the mall and say, Hey, want to try this soap? And they, like, put it in your face. Uh, kind of like Jamaica. Um, but... And that's right around the corner from Bourbon Orleans. So, but, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, those are just a couple tips and tricks when visiting New Orleans. And to be told, I hope that I gave you as much information as you could need at this moment. And there'll probably be a video in the near future about more advice when going to New Orleans. Uh, what to do, but yes. And I'm going to end this video with saying this one more time. Antoine's Restaurant, you need to go there. Go there. I am not kidding. It is the best freaking food you will ever eat. And I eat a lot of food, alright? So, honestly, best... Go there. Make plans to do it. Just go there. Yeah, see you next one.